What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video by Trunkfish Green 34. Today we're going to be taking a look at Cam Spinner, the next generation triple dent racer from the 2019 Disney Cars Diecast line. Man, that intro is such a mouthful. Um, but yeah, I'm back finally with more reviews. Um, I'm really going to be pumping out reviews over the next couple of weeks. Um, like we I am in a very busy time in in terms of buying and reviewing cars. There's a lot of stuff coming out. I'm finding more and more stuff in stores, so of course that's kind of like, you know, like throwing me off and just adding even more reviews. Like this Cam Spinner video was supposed to come out weeks ago, but then I just kept finding new stuff. But anyway, I'm back at it with Cam Spinner, so let's take a look at him. Not gonna waste any more time with the intro. So of course we have the Disney Pixar Cars new slanted logo. And he is a part of the Next Gen Piston Cup Racers, with the Next Gen as the symbol there. So really nice art for Cam Spinner. I love his art. He's really nice. We have the name tag, 3 Plus Mattel. On the back, we have this nice picture of McQueen racing, I believe it was the Los Angeles Speedway, with Danny Suarez and of course, there's Cam Spinner actually, and Chris Roman. And then there's the description, will the impressive Next Gen Racers break McQueen's winning streak? And then here we have Chase Racelet, Ryan Inside Laney, Michael Roder, and Richie Gunzit. Richie Gunzit is already out, who I already reviewed. Michael Roder's out, and I'll be reviewing him very soon. Ryan Inside Laney will be out um, very soon, and Chase Racelet will also be out in a couple months. We just have a bunch of legal information. But yeah, I'll be right back with this guy opened up. I am so excited to finally have this guy out of the package. He looks amazing. Definitely one of my favorite next gens so far. Potentially even rivaling Richie Guns that I haven't quite decided yet. Now, Cam Spinner is actually kind of cool because he was one of the playable characters in the Cars 3 Driven to Win video game, even though he's a background character and does not speak at all in the movie. But anyways, <laughs> he was put in the game anyway. So yeah, he has a nice determined expression like all the next gens, which as you've as I've said in my stock car versus next gen series, I'm not really a big fan of that. I kinda wish they gave next gens more unique expressions, but you know, I'll take what I can get. At least they actually released Cam Spinner. Because, you know, there was the chance that maybe he could have gotten cancelled and we wouldn't have gotten him. But yeah. Obviously he's a nice a light blue color. And here are his contingency sponsors. Piston Cup, Combustor, Carbon Cyber, and Synergy. He has these nice white rims. Um, I can't remember if they're similar to Richie Gunsets or not. I'm I'm not entirely sure, but they do look really nice. He's number 31, of course, with the stars. Oh, sorry. He's number 31, and he's got these stars on there, which is really cool. And then we have this nice, like, light blue and white. Almost looks like mountains, and they, like, come in. I mean, he's supposed to be advertising gum, and yet they use, like, a frosty, cool-based paint, paint scheme and design. On the back here says 31 Triple Dent, which I think is actually unique to Cam Spinner. I don't think any of the other next gens actually say, like, their number and then their sponsor on the back. I think it's usually just one or the other. Um, yeah, obviously he has the yellow rookie stripes, because he is a rookie. And then on the back, or underneath, you can see his, um, what's it, the tailpipes, or whatever these things are. I'll get to that later. Here we have his exhaust pipes, which is also something that I don't think many next gens have. I really like the light, the white, and then the light blue, and then the dark blue. It looks really nice. And then, triple dent again on the spoiler with, like, the white stripe there. No white stripe on this side. I'm not, I don't like the, how it's not consistent. You know, it should, come on, focus. Really? I don't like how it's not consistent on the uh, both sides of the spoiler there. It's like there's only white on one half or one portion. And this hood. Hood says triple dent again with the light blue like mountain style design and then the white stripes here. And then he has black eyelids, which is really weird. Um reminds me a lot of Ponchi Wipeout from Cars 3 that came out a couple years ago. Um, he had the black eyelids, even though he's not. He's supposed to have blue eyelids. That's very weird. On the base here, Stas have Mattel. 
is date stamp L50A, so it was made in 2018, the 50th week, so like early December, and then A is presumably for the factory. And then we have this weird hole thing again that looks really messed up inside. I still don't know what that's for. And here it says Disney Pixar made in Thailand. So this is the Thailand version. There is a China version coming. Um, however, we don't know how it's going to be released. Um, I personally think it's going to be in the three-pack that has Jackson Storm, Bobby Swift, and Camp Spinner. That three-pack should be coming out um, soon, I would assume, I would think. And that's probably how the China Camp Spinner is going to get released. I would assume so. But, yeah, that's all for Cam Spinner. Really nice car, in my opinion. Definitely one of my favorite next gens so far. I decided I do still like Richie Guns it better, but he, Cam Spinner, just looks so good. So good. He's also one of my favorite characters in Cars 3, Jeff and the Wim. I usually use him a lot, as well as Rich Mixon. Um, and, yeah, before I end the video, I just want to kind of talk about some future videos. I'm going to start doing uploads on Saturdays now, as well as my Monday, Wednesday, Friday, just because I have so much stuff to review, I need to put out, I'm going to be putting out these videos like crazy. Last week was kind of a bad week, I didn't really put out any videos, I had Metallic Nick stickers and then that was it. Um, I was going to do like a channel update and then I was going to review the custom, a custom of mine that I made, unfortunately I didn't get a chance to make either of those videos. But I will make those videos eventually, once I've kind of been a slow point for reviews, which I would assume is probably going to be over the summer. Like, I think over the s around August is kind of when things are going to slow down a bit. Um, I personally hope it doesn't slow down, because I do actually like the constant flow of just finding new stuff. Nice change of pace from 2018 and 2017 and past other past years where I go, like, months without finding something. So, yeah. Um, that's it for that. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video, which is probably going to be Xanadu Bumpers. Bye.